and anyone near uh, the Shickley area, and really anyone in this Fillmore County area, uh, if you want to be safe, uh, certainly now it would be the, the time to get to your safe places. A lot of locations are probably hearing the civil defense sirens or their uh, tornado sirens going off, and that's always a great indicator. But it's also, uh, you know, we don't ever want you just to rely on those outdoor sirens. That's why we harp and have for years about uh, the uh, weather radios and then uh, getting uh, the uh, social media alerts uh, from uh, all of the 1011 uh, apps and uh, all the uh, different uh, ways that you can be uh, reached and the, that you can get information when it comes to severe weather. So uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that. No tornado warning there yet, so we'll go back to Lancaster County. Again, we'll, uh, we continue to wait. We've brought you video, uh, several video uh, pieces of video from southeast Lincoln. We have uh, had several pictures. Uh, we've had uh, at least one shot of what looked to be a slightly larger than egg size hail. Uh, from southeast Lincoln. We've had reports of softball and baseball size hail, and we continue with the two tornado warnings right now. This is still a very intense cell here right around Eagle. That is within that tornado warned area, so again, we're very concerned about that. We're still looking at the possibility here, uh, you know, not necessarily on the velocity scope looking uh, all that uh, significant, but uh, that doesn't mean that we, that we want you to. Uh, throw caution to the wind. We still want you to be very, very careful. And at the very least, we've got dangerous lightning and torrential amounts of rain and the potential for some large size hail here. So not only uh, in Lancaster, central Lancaster, Cass and Odo counties, but also that other warning for Cass County, the eastern portions of Cass County. Both of these tornado warnings will continue until 615. So that's our situation. We're not, uh, because we're so very close, uh, when we get some updated information, perhaps some new video, perhaps uh, some of the old video we'll put together for you, um, uh, then we'll let you see that. But right now we've got those tornado warnings that continue. Uh, Sean, is that a new uh, warning? Is that why you're moving our... Uh, then give me a shot. Why don't you give okay. me a shot that includes uh, both the uh, tornado warnings uh, so that we can continue to keep a real close eye on this situation. Again, you can see Lincoln off on the uh, side of your screen here, and uh, that is central... Lancaster County, this is portions of Cass, portions of Odo County, with that very significant cell around Eagle, and then also this uh, severe thunderstorm, or the tornado warning I, c I mentioned uh, for eastern Cass County. Both of those tornado warnings till 615. Sean, you've got some additional information. What have you got for us? This, uh, can, this thunderstorm warning in Cass County, this is relatively uh, new. It's going to be going until at least 630. Um, or it, it will go until 6.30. Tennis ball size hail, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, and obviously uh, that tornado warning is there as well, and so tornadoes uh, a threat. They've been receiving reports of a tornado in progress. The National Weather Service has been receiving uh, reports of tornadoes, uh, 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 of, to of rotation out there, and so uh, this warning in CAS, Ken, uh, is, is the one that uh, has been We've been re receiving reports of tornadoes. That one in Eagle, this is that one is still just uh, radar indicated. And I'll pan over to that one. Um, that one is still just radar indicated at this time. Uh, no reports of any funnels, any tornadoes on the ground. But again, the one uh, to the east of Weeping Water in Cass County, that one we have been receiving reports. Okay, I want you because I got I, I was sure. looking at some different things. I want you to read that again from the National Weather Service office. Do we do have a confirmed tornado within this area, Sean? Yes, it's uh, it's going to be. So set it up and then take a look at that chat. I want to make sure that we get this right. Sure. So we've got that uh, this warning here in Cass County. Uh, the National You're Weather talking about the tornado warning, right? Yes, sir. We've okay. been, uh, the National Weather Service is receiving reports of a tornado in progress, um, consistent with what we see on the radar as far as the, uh, the, the couplets there, the red and the green, if I pop those up uh, with the velocity. And so do you see that just off to the northwest? Yeah, right here. Nahaka, okay, yep. So uh, they've been receiving reports of a tornado on the ground in that location. All right. Thank you. Uh, right now we're going we're gonna to go uh, get another live report uh, from, uh, I'm assuming, southeast portions of Lincoln with Max Massey. Max, we're going to send it over to you. What can you tell us? Yes, Bridget you know, and we're here in the neighborhood of Edenton South, just one of the numerous neighborhoods around Lincoln that was hit with heavy rain and heavy hail. We're actually going to give you a quick look at the house that we're at. Look at all that hail built up, and that's just a little bit of what people had to drive through all over Lincoln. Now, the person who lives here 
Michael Jackson said he saw a tornado just to the right of his house. We're going to be showing you some of that tornado right now. He shot it. He said he was very, uh, very unsuspecting of the severe weather to come into Lincoln. He said he was just standing with his wife and he noticed all of the clouds and looked out the window and was very confused when he thought he saw the twirling winds. My wife and I were outside. We had been following the storm for a little while, saw some rotation in the clouds, and just kind of kept our eye in the sky. We went out to the front where we shot the video. I think that was probably our fourth video, and then we finally actually started to see it come down to the ground. And at that time, I know um, people are probably thinking I was crazy, but at that time it was very calm. There really wasn't any wind, and we thought we saw birds. And my wife said, those aren't birds, that's debris. Jackson says that he was very unsuspected, again, of all the severe weather. He didn't expect the mass amount of hail. He says it was more than marble size. At some point, it was even golf ball size hail. And as you can see behind us, the rain is starting to pick up again. And we're going to have take a quick look at the grass. I mean, this was after probably about 10 minutes, even after it stopped hailing. And it's still on the ground. It looks like it's continuing. And we'll have more for you throughout the show. All right, that was Max Massey reporting. We've given David Jesperson and Kristen Bauer a break here. We're giving the weather guys who've been providing excellent coverage a little bit of a breather as well. And my co anchor, Owen Jensen, he is out live looking for storm damage as well. And we have gotten many reports of hail, not just you saw the one Max just showed you there, it appeared to be a little bit bigger than pea size, maybe up to nickel. But we've had reports of golf ball size hail near 91st and Highway 2. Uh, we've had reports of up to baseball size hail that was near 71st and South of of uh, Yankee Hill Road. So the hail is certainly causing problems for people you saw uh, starting to pile up outside of that house, and that was at 78th and uh, near Old Cheney area. Now let's take a look at some more videos. Uh, we have that video again. This was Stacy and Mike Jackson. This is the South Edenton neighborhood in Lincoln, 78th and Old Cheney. You can see again those clouds were swirling and the funnel clouds starting to extend toward the ground. She says Stacy and her husband were watching the skies, saw it lower. And again, like you heard them say, they thought also that they saw debris. Thought it was birds at first, but no, in fact, they thought it was debris. Again, some more tornado video sent in by some viewers. This is from Scott and Paula Finky Graham. They are near 70th and again south of Yankee Hill Road. They saw that funnel cloud in their neighborhood, Country View Road. That's again in southeast Lincoln. And so, numerous reports again. That video here we're showing you. We're showing you of the funnel cloud. Now, we've also had reports of rotation here in Lancaster County. This is from Baylor Lippold. Uh, you can see in between those two trees, a funnel cloud doesn't know, don't know if it appears to be touching the ground. And again, 91st and Highway 2, that is uh, Bill Rentschler's family. That's where he's been going live for us. And uh, 91st and Highway 2, that certainly ominous looking clouds in uh, the sky there. 56th and Pine Lake, Jeff sent us this video. And uh, hard to look at here in Lincoln. Hannah Beam, an another video or picture, excuse me, 40th and Pine Lake Road. Uh, another shot of that funnel cloud in far southeast Lincoln. So certainly a lot of people sending us pictures. You can continue to send us pictures hurry, guys, uh, hurry. on our Facebook page, on our social media pages. You can also go to 1011now.com and uh, it's your shot, my capture page. This is video or pictures that the Nebraska State Patrol troopers tweeted out on their Twitter page. That was a trailer that was overturned. You can see here a play set that looks like it has been damaged. Nebraska State Patrol said Saying this appeared to be tornado damage, but that has not been confirmed. You can see a fence knocked down. This is from the area of 84th and Highway 2, and these pictures were tweeted out by the Nebraska State Patrol fences damaged. And while well, let's send it back over to Ken, he's got some new and updated information. Bridget, we do have some new and updated information. This tornado warning is set to expire at 6:15, and that's certainly going to be the case. Uh, we believe, and you can actually see an additional severe thunderstorm warning polygon on here. Sean Vialli, thank you very much. Uh, so that tornado warning is going to be allowed to expire at 6:15.